as we've explored in our previous discussions, the concept of intelligence is multifaceted and complex. In this episode, we'll be turning our attention to the world of artificial intelligence. Generally, artificial intelligence is a field of computer science that aims to create machines that can perform tasks that would typically require human intelligence. On the other hand, machine learning is a subset of AI that allows computers to learn from data and improve their performance without being explicitly programmed. Usually to reach a system that can perform tasks that require human intelligence, we need to use machine learning techniques. Eventually, Deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that is inspired by the structure of the brain, specifically the neural networks. Deep learning enables machines to process data similarly to how the human brain does. In this episode, we're taking you on a journey to explore the vast world of AI and later on, we continue with its component and show you how these concepts work together to create something truly extraordinary. <laughs> First and foremost, it is essential to know the concept of the rational agent in the artificial intelligence field. Because it is the foundation upon which other components of AI such as machine learning, computer vision, and natural language processing are built. Agent refers to an entity such as software or system that can make decisions. An agent is like the brain of the computer. For example, Online platforms such as Netflix and Spotify use a rational agent to make decisions about personalized recommendations to users or self-driving cars use a rational agent to make decisions about how to navigate the road and avoid obstacles. However, not all agents are created equal. We have different kinds of agents with different characteristics and challenges. First, there are simple reflex agents. These are the most basic type of agents. They make decisions based on the condition. It means if the condition is true, then the action is taken, else not. An example of a simple reflex agent is the robotic vacuum cleaner. If the ground is dirty, it sucks, else it continues moving. Next, there are model-based agents. They know how things happen in the world and can predict what will happen in the world if they take a certain action. Another feature of model-based agents is that they can handle unknown factors that can affect the outcome of their actions. For example, a self-driving car uses a model of the road and traffic to predict the outcomes of different actions, such as turning or braking to plan a safe and efficient sequence of action. Third, there are goal-based agents. These agents make decisions to achieve a goal. They are designed to perform specific tasks or achieve specific objectives. For example, Siri and Alexa are goal-based agents that use natural language processing and machine learning to understand user requests and perform tasks such as scheduling appointments or finding information. Lastly, there are learning agents. They can learn from their past experiences and improve over time. A good example of a learning agent in our daily lives is the recommendation system on Netflix or Amazon. It uses machine learning to analyze user data and make personalized recommendations for movies or TV shows. Thanks for joining us on this journey to learn about artificial intelligence, but the adventure doesn't stop here. Get ready for the next level as we take a step forward and explore how these agents see our world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share your thoughts, and follow us on Instagram to stay updated on the latest AI-related content. We'll be posting regular updates and insights to help you stay ahead of the curve in the world of artificial intelligence. So hit the subscribe button, follow us on Instagram, and join us as we explore this mind-blowing technology together.